Uh, hi, it's Ben sitting down with the new fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Sperber. Uh, Ms. Sperber, is this your first teaching job? Yes, it is. Um, where did you obtain your teaching degree at? I graduated from Kansas State University. Okay, what made you want to become a teacher? I really started, I just wanted to coach, and so that's kind of why, how I thought the best route would be is to go through teaching, but then I found that I actually love teaching. Okay, so what are some of your other responsibilities at the school this year? I'm the head high school volleyball coach and the assistant high school women's basketball coach. Okay, and last question, what are some hobbies that you like to do while not at school? I like to ride horses when I can. Um, I love working out and spending time with my puppies. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you for your time. It's Caitlin, and I'm here with one of the new USD 322 staff members, Ms. Pringle. Where did you go to high school at? Um, I went to Onega High School. So I was born and raised in Onega and went to school here, and I'm very passionate about Onega schools. That being said, what brought you back to teach here? Um, well, I have taught for 13 years, and um, the position came open, and I wanted to be in the school where my kids are at. Yeah, and I'm very passionate about Onega. What, how did you decide that you wanted to work with children? Um, when I was in eighth grade, we done a, um, a job fair type deal, and so I went and worked at preschool. And then I did it again when I was a senior in high school, and I went and worked at the preschool for one of my hours, and I loved it. So. Do you have any activities after school? Activities after school? Well, my children, obviously, keep me very busy. I have three girls. Um, but I do a lot of, I coach a lot of youth sports, um, and I'm very active in our church with youth. Well, that's all we have for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hi, it's Ben here, sitting down with the new grade school principal, Mr. Dow. Mr. Dow, tell us a little, about, a little bit about you and your family. Um, well, my wife, Julie Dowell, she's a stay-at-home mother. She has taught for several years, but at this time she's with my two-year-old daughter and five-year-old son at home. My daughter's name is Micah, my son's name is Elijah, and I have a stepson who I recently moved into college, um, and he's going to Independence Community College. He's 19. Alright, uh, where did you get your education at to become a principal? I got my undergraduate at Northwestern Oklahoma State University in Alva, Oklahoma. And I had my master's courses through Pittsburgh State University. All right. Um, this is your first year being a principal. Uh, prior to this, you taught. Where did you teach at? I taught at Elk Valley High School um, in junior high. I taught sixth and seventh grade math and science um, for five years. Um, what made you want to become a principal? Uh, it, I have a direct impact on several lives and it's um, just an exponential impact compared to being a teacher. Um, not only is a classroom um, something that you can directly impact, but now I would be able to impact a, an entire building um, and be able to hopefully change lives and that's um, what we're here for. What are some ways that you and your family can become part of the community? Um, I think I think just being involved in the extracurricular activities, um, being seen out in public, being visible, um, going down to the grocery store, to the pharmacy, to the bank. We've tried to do everything we can to incorporate ourselves and have the community embrace us. That's all for the interview. Thank you for your time, Mr. Dow. Okay, thank you, Ben.
Hey, it's Michael here with the USD 322 media class, and I'm here with Mr. Crone, the new K-12 vocal instructor. Is that correct? That's correct. All right. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nice Crone. Nice to meet you. So, where did you obtain your teaching degree at? Well, I got my first, my teaching degree, my first degree, from Peru State College in Peru, Nebraska, just up over here over the border. All right. Have you ever taught anywhere before? Oh, yeah. Lots of places. All right. I taught, my, I've taught out in the sand hills of Nebraska for six years. I taught at Brewster, um, and then I uh, became an administrator oh, for okay. 13 years. And then went out to, uh, Hol I got out of administration and went to Holcomb, Kansas, and taught there for five years, and now I'm here. So not only in one state, but two states. Two states. Yes. So what made you choose the position here at Onega? My first principal job was at Hanover, and I've all my wife and I have always loved this area. And uh, Onega is a great school. It was back when I was at Hanover, and I, I feel lucky to be here. All right. What drew you toward? Uh, what drew you to become a music instructor? What drew me is because um, we. we Ever since I was a little guy, we've had a lot of music in my house where I, when I grew up. My mom loved to play piano and sing. My sisters sang and do things. My brothers, and it just seemed a natural thing. And uh, I actually, uh, my mom had me in church doing solos uh -huh. at church at the age of three. Oh, wow. So music just seemed natural to me. All right, and outside of teaching music, will you have any other responsibilities here at USD 3.2? Yes, I'll be doing the musical, probably helping with forensics some, uh, doing some other things. Uh, whatever that needs done, I, I'll help with. All right, and what are some of your hobbies while not in the classroom? Well, some of my hobbies is I love to refinish furniture. Um, I love to fish, go fishing, read. My wife and I love movies. Uh, we have a huge collection of movies. And then uh, we also uh, love to go to auctions. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we, we've been to lots and lots of auctions. All right, well, thank you for your time, Mr. Crone, and welcome to the area. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. This is Caitlin, and I'm here with Miss Dahlman here at Omega. She is one of the new staff members that we have. Where did you attend high school at? I attended at Silver Lake High School, which is not too far from here, um, about 40 minutes. So. In college? Uh, Kansas Wesleyan University. Did you do sports there? Yeah, I played a year and a half of softball there. Yes. What made you want to become a teacher? Um, I've always loved working with kids and seeing the light bulb moment, just love it and being that role model for them because um, not all kids have the perfect childhood, so just be there for them. What brought you to Omega for teaching? Um, nothing specific. I mean, I was applying and Omega is a small town just like Silver Lake, so I thought it would be a good fit and it also wasn't too far from home. Are you in any after-school activities? I do the after-school program, working the reading portion for a little bit, and then I'll be doing healthy choices. Well, that's all we have for today. Thank you for talking with yes, us. Yes, of course. <laughs>